everyone, I'm Kim, the mom boss behind Emery and Kay, and today I have a really fun, super simple tutorial that is perfect for using up extra scrap pieces of tacky tape or any other double-sided adhesive sheets that you might have. So I'll go ahead and put a picture of the tumbler on the screen now for you to see. So this idea came from my huge pile of scrap pieces of tacky tape. So if you are like me, you've been making a ton of burst tumblers. This one is my most popular seller. Um, I did a tutorial on it. This is my first one I ever posted. My zebra stripe um, Serapi tumbler. And so I cut this Serapi template out of tacky tape and it works really well. The only problem is 30 ounces have been my best sellers. And when I cut a 30 ounce template out of my tacky tape sheet, there's not a big enough piece left to do another 30 ounce tumbler or even a 20 ounce. It's like just a little bit too short. So I just have this gigantic stack of scrap pieces of tacky tape that I don't want to throw away. So one of my favorite places to get um, templates for burst tumblers is Ellie's Crafty Co. So I reached out to her and I asked if she could make an amazing template that was sized for a smaller tumbler. So you can definitely resize any template to fit a smaller tumbler. Um, the only issue is, is sometimes that the images get distorted and they just look weird and it looks off. So she created this template for, boom, the 16 ounce junior that we're going to be doing today is from Steel Magnolia. This one, I don't know what it's called. My customers and I call it the cozy mug, but it's a 16 ounce junior with a handle. So it also fits this. And then it also fits flawlessly on a 17 ounce mason tumbler. So I am so excited to share this tutorial with you guys. Hopefully this will help you use up some of those scrap pieces of tacky tape that you have laying around so they don't go to waste. Uh, so as always, I will list and link everything I use in the description box below. I'll also have a few discount codes for you there as well. If you want to save on some of the goods, I think that's that. Let's get to it. As always, we're going to start with our fully prepped and painted cup. Today I'm using the 16 ounce Junior. This is from the Steel Magnolia Company. This one is actually from her prepped line. So she sells most of her tumbler styles already prepped. They're a little bit more money, but oh my goodness, I bought a case of these when they were on sale a couple months ago and I wish that I had gotten so many more because what a luxury to be able to pull the cup right out of the box and be ready to go no sanding or painting um these are these are perfect so if you don't like to sand and paint your cups um check out the prepped ones from steel magnolia because what a luxury so first thing we're going to do after we cut our template is we're going to go ahead and wrap it and i will put the measurements for the templates for all three tumbler styles in the description box below so I cut mine with tacky tape on my Cricut Maker. I like to wrap it around my cup, line it up, and hold it in place with that little sewing clip. Alternatively, you could use um, like a little piece of painter's tape if you wanted. Just be careful not to pull the little delicate stripes in your design. So we're going to go ahead and wrap it with our cup. I like to use my vinyl squeegee. If you get any little bubbles like I did um, there just a second ago, you can grab your little weeding tool, carefully poke them and push the air out. You wanna make sure you get rid of any little bubbles because if not, you will see those um, under your glitter. So just go back through, check, make sure you don't get any of those little tiny air bubbles. If you do, get them taken care of. And then once you have your cup wrapped, we're gonna move on to glitter. So I wanted to do a color scheme that was a little bit different from the typical um, like pumpkin colors so oranges and reds and stuff like that so I decided to go with a blue and kind of like tan beige color scheme um I I really love pushing the envelope when it comes to being different um putting colors together that normally you'd be like mm, seems kind of weird but I I think the outcome is always so beautiful and it really sets you apart and I feel like art is really about experimenting and creating something brand new. Uh, so the first color I'm going to use, they're all from the glitter guy, is blue barracuda and that is a gorgeous true navy. It's very close to black um, in the shaker but once you get it on you can definitely tell that it's a navy. 
it is absolutely gorgeous so I'm going to start always with the darkest color and I don't really have a plan of where I'm going to put each color I do know for my two darkest colors I want to have kind of the least and I want to use um, a lot of those kind of thin little outlines and then maybe a few um, thicker places here and there but I don't want to overwhelm my cup with the super dark color so I think with a burst tumbler like this it's really just about finding balance and you can just do that with your eyes just kind of look and think I think I need a little bit might want a little bit more of this color here or this color there I will say when you're removing these little tiny outlines on the pumpkins, take your time and go slow. There are some, you can see I'm placing one back here, little pieces at the top of the pumpkin that like to cling to those little outlines when you remove them. So just go nice and slow, take your time. Um, just, you know, don't rush the process. So I'm gonna go in with that blue barracuda. This color is so beautiful. I remember when it first came out from the Glitter Guy a couple years ago, it was so hard to get because it was incredibly popular. And obviously we can see why. <laughs> so the next color I'm gonna use is Toffee. And this is a really gorgeous, rich um, toffee color, like a brown, it's stunning. And I'm gonna repeat the process similar to what I did with Blue Barracuda. I'm going to do a few thicker pieces, but I'm gonna do a lot of the thin outlines with this because it is my next darkest color. So I have sped up the process of glittering um, because, sorry, my head's right there. <laughs> Um, because this does take a little bit. This is definitely the most time consuming part is really those first two glitters where I do a lot of those thin outlines because I'm really taking my time, like I said, making sure that I'm not getting any of them. You can see really well there. The little pieces um, in the pumpkins, I don't want any of those to pull up and, and kind of make my design look funky and weird. So I'm not sure what happened there, but I removed the rest of the pieces and sprinkled on um, the toffee. I think that I had to stop recording to help my toddler and then I forgot to hit the record button again and um, so it skipped ahead. So I apologize for that but it's literally what I was doing <laughs> before I paused the video. Now there's just glitter on my cup so it looks a little bit like magic. You can see here um, that I wanted to add a little bit more of that toffee right there around that pumpkin and it's totally okay to do that. Just make sure you haven't moved on you know, to your lighter colors but if you're working along, you glitter it and you think, I think I need a little bit more of this one here, um, then you can go ahead and add it. Just take your time like I've said and check and make sure that your cup is well balanced and it just looks pleasing to your eye. That's really We're going to go on about. with the rest of our glitter colors. This one is called Raja and I thought I recorded myself um, removing the pieces and applying the glitter but I actually just recorded myself cleaning up the glitter so um, that's a good job on my part. So sorry about that but the process is the same. So the blue that I used is called Blue Steel. Here we go. Now I actually am recording what I wanted to record. Um, this color is called Sands of Time. It's just a gorgeous um, sandy color. It is stunning. So I'm going to go in and again repeat the process of removing pieces and putting on that glitter. You'll notice as I'm working through and applying my glitter that I chose pretty much all metallic glitters. I think the next glitter is an iridescent. Um, but for the most part, I like to keep my glitter, I guess, finishes, shimmers, I'm not sure what you would call it, um, very similar or all the same. I don't like to use a big mix of like holographics um, and then like one or two metallics. I actually prefer metallics on bursts, but if you're trying to choose your colors, just line them up, see how they look together. Don't be afraid to push the envelope and do something a little bit different too. So for the final color, aside from the background on this tumbler, we're gonna be using Wildberry. And this is the one I don't think it's a metallic. I think it um, is an iridescent, I wanna say, um, but I'm not 100% positive, but it's a newer glitter. It is so beautiful. It's just this super soft, like blueberry blue. I love it. So I'm gonna go in and remove the rest of the pieces on my images minus the background we'll be doing that last but this is the part where you really want to take your time you want to make sure that you're getting all those little pieces that remain you don't want to miss anything because if you end up having a little piece of tacky tape left behind you will definitely see that 
when you epoxy because it won't be glitter. And I feel like epoxy always brings out the, um, you know, the shimmer and shine of your glitter, but it also brings out any flaws that you might have. So just double check, triple check if you need to. Make sure you've gotten all those little pieces. There was like one or two that I ended up missing. Here we go, you'll see, um, that I go back and get. So just make sure you do that before you, you know, move on with each color. So we'll get this wild berry finished and then we'll move on to the background. So originally I had chosen rainbow ice for the background, which is a white with um, like a rainbow shimmer to it. Uh, as I was removing the pieces and just looking at the color scheme, I decided I actually didn't want to use rainbow ice. I just didn't think it went with kind of the... Um, like a nature-y soft feel of the colors on the cup. I felt like rainbow ice is a little bit too much color. <laughs> I guess even though it's a white, but it has that rainbow shimmer. So I ended up changing my mind and I'm using vanilla wafer, which is from the pastel line at the Glitter Guy. This is just a super creamy white. It was perfect. I didn't want a stark white and vanilla wafer was exactly what this cup needed. It went so well with the color scheme. So now we will go ahead and give this a few good coats of our Rust-Oleum Clear Gloss and we will move on to the next step. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a regular coat of epoxy to my tumbler and we're gonna apply this chunky glitter. So this one is Sapphire of Souls. It is the brand new Buried Treasure exclusive mix from the Glitter Guy. You can only get it through um, a select number of their authorized sellers. I will list some of those down below. Uh, the shipping can be a little bit expensive from some places, so if you have like glitter friends you want to go in um, on an order with, I would suggest that. That's what um, my friends and I do so that we can all get it and not all pay crazy shipping prices. <laughs> but this glitter is absolutely stunning it is gorgeous and so we're going to carefully sprinkle it along the bottom of our cup and then I'm going to kind of cascade it up into my design so I want the coverage on that kind of bottom ring of the cup where it kind of shrinks you know what I mean. <laughs> I want the coverage to be nice and solid and then I just wanted to gently cascade over that line of my tacky tape so that it's hidden and just into my burst design a little bit. I don't want to cover up too much of that detail. So I'm just lightly sprinkling it with my fingers. I always sprinkle my chunky glitter with my fingers. You can see that it lays so nice and flat. This will be smooth and um, ready after a coat of epoxy. I typically will do two coats and then sand it and one more and we're good to go. There's really not a lot of sanding when you um, sprinkle it with your fingers like that. So here I got a little bit more glitter on this pumpkin than I wanted. So I'm just kind of using this little vinyl um, or silicone, excuse me, makeup brush thing to kind of push a little bit of that glitter out of the way, reposition it. Don't be afraid to do that. You can also use like a gloved finger or a popsicle stick if you need to as well. Just make sure you like where that glitter is. Sometimes on these sharp rims, I have a little bit that will kind of stick up, so I just gently push that down with my finger. And then I will put this back on my turner and um, let it spin. Once it's cured, I will give my Chunky a nice coat of my Rust-Oleum Clear Gloss so it doesn't repel my epoxy. And on this tumbler, I decided I didn't want a decal on it. I thought it was just perfect the way it was. So I did a coat of epoxy, a light sand, another coat, and my tumbler was done. As always, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and found it a little bit inspirational. If you did, I would love a thumbs up on this video. If you want to see more tutorials in the future, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy crafting!